Now there's our fossil hunting area, but it's still a bit muddy. That's where the overflow starts out. It's all limestone down there. So there's a lot of good fossil hunting. Looks like a few more areas have uncovered. So it might have some fresh stuff to find. Royo has widened up quite a bit at this part from last year. See if I can step without catching an edge that's cracking away. You can see there's several spots where it's exposed rock. Some places are dry enough. I might be able to get over there to the far side and then look around. We may try that. See if I can see anything cool. Join along. Well, the one area by the dam is still real muddy. So I couldn't get down there. Here's another look at the arroyo where it comes around the corner. That's one of the gravel bars I like to explore. And then it flows around here. Looks like some new gravels uncovered. Trying to keep from slipping off the edge here. You can see where a lot of big stuff has come down in these rains and all the way down. Definitely want to get down there and start poking around. I like the bigger rocks. I'd rather cut them down to the size I want them to be when I go to work the rock. Instead of finding tiny specimens and try to make them fit into something they're not meant to. And I'm gonna go a little further down and see what else I can find. Yeah, there's a nice rock, but I didn't bring my hammer down with me or a chisel. And this stuff is concreted together. That looks like a nice piece of jasper there. I'll have to come back for that one. Definitely had some erosion. See where it's cut back in the mud. It gets shallow right there. So that water rushes over the tops all around these edges here. Even where I'm standing, there's some puddles here and there, little ones. Yeah, I see some more. Look like smaller jaspers. Not sure what it looks like over this edge. Now this shelf right here used to go all the way to that point. So definitely been some material moved. Let me see a big old crack right here on the edge of that spot, which is getting ready to let go. You can see where a bunch of them have caved in. And that's since last year when I was down here last. Not sure what it looks like under where I'm standing, but I don't think it's very thick. That's breaking down nicely. There's going to be some good stuff down in there. And you can see right there, this riverbed, or arroyo, been around a long time because... Just under that mesquite, you can see a whole bunch of rock right there. It's all rounded off and been naturally tumbled. It's all like concreted together, which I'm assuming is rhyolite. Don't know for certain. 
but there's like various levels here you see down there there's more of a solid layer of clay and then right there's another bed and these vary all the way through as you can see down there it's caliche and clay on the left hand side and on the right where it widens back out again So I had to charge my phone for a few minutes while I was doing some collecting. I didn't have any battery to film, but I'll show you what I found when I get back to the house. Here you go, guys. Not much. Found this beautiful piece of calcite. It's got green tint to it. I don't know how well it's showing up on camera. It's a good thick piece. Have to try to clean it up and polish it a little. Another nice specimen. The only fossil that I found. I think that's pretty cool. I think there's something going on back here too, but I'm not sure. It looks like a seashell right here. Mind you, these were found at 4,500 feet. And last but not least, I had to stop and take time and cut this. Ain't that pretty. So you can never tell what the rain's going to uncover for you. Hopefully we'll be making another video soon.